There's a court battle happening here in Greenville. It's not what you think. It's not happening at the courthouse. It's actually outside at one of the city's recreation and parks department facilities. The city recently announced they would be converting some tennis courts into pickleball courts, but that's raising some concerns for tennis players in the community. Now your side's Aaron Jenkins has been digging deeper into this issue and joins us now live in Greenville. So Aaron, what are you learning? Well, Ken, if you were here at Elm Street Park just one month ago, you would have seen six tennis courts. But now when we walk this way, you're going to see that three of those courts have been converted into eight pickleball courts, which is where we're standing right now. Tennis players in the community tell me they're disappointed they're losing courts, but city officials say it's needed to accommodate everyone. On any given day at Elm Street Park, these courts are full. When you drive by, there are several people out here playing, waiting in line to play, and it's hard to get a good court um, on prime time. Greenville tennis players say finding a court is now even harder. It was packed out here, people waiting for tennis courts left and right because these courts are not playable now. On March 6th, City Council approved funding to convert three of the courts at Elm Street Park into pickleball courts. Pickleball is a sport recreation and parks director Don Octagon says is growing. We did a, a statistically valid survey for pickleball and Greenville ranks it as a sport with the highest need and, and we were just not we're not meeting the need. To meet the need, they had two options. Looking at a new facility with uh, designing it, you know, site plan, a small restroom facility uh, to support it, um, lights, um, and within a, a park, it would cost about $750,000. Through this research, we've also seen where other communities are are converting uh, you know, courts to tennis courts to pickleball courts. That project would, would estimated would cost about $75,000. Octagon says they looked at their resources and different parks and decided on the conversion at Elm Street. We're doing our best to uh, really work that balance of providing a sport for uh, tennis but also pickleball and it's a tough balance. This decision did not was not made lightly. Tennis players say they hope in the future that balance doesn't forget about their sport. If you don't have tennis courts, you're going to lose tennis players. We have nothing against pickleball. We just want tennis. Now people are out here on this nice day using these courts, so they're already open. Tennis players tell me they were surprised how fast this process moved, but the city says the contractor was able to get started here early, which is why these courts are already open. Live in Greenville, Aaron Jenkins, 9 on your side.